I'm going to be honest here. There's a lot of stories that are not being picked up by the mainstream media because they don't want the general America to know. But there's acts of violence taking place between these illegal immigrants and U.S. citizens, the police forces, and uh, we have. Oh yeah, that's re- that's well underway. Yeah, it's well, well, it's already it's already happening. Yeah, and it's literally happening under our fucking noses. And most people out there are completely oblivious because they watch the Super Bowl and or their sports, and all they want is their beer and sports. Yeah, and it's going to take something like, "Hey, I, my house is cold, and I I have no gas, or the lights don't work, or my refrigerator, the magic box of coldness that always fills with food." Is no longer producing food. That's when a lot of those idiots are going to wake up. And then coming back from that, it's really, really hard. Or, hey, what are these nice, charming Congolese men doing in my backyard with machetes? Yes. No. They must be wanting to prune the bushes. No. They want to prune you. Yeah, yeah that's pretty, uh, it's pretty freaking ridiculous what's going on. Um, We've covered a lot over the last couple of shows, but like Pop said, the reason that we broke all of this up is there are so many pieces and we wanted to keep it manageable. (laughs) Tonight's anarchy in the USA is about the violence that's coming in, what vectors it's coming in by, and what kind of violence you're looking at right now, what kind of violence you might expect. One of the big things is the sheer escalation of what's happened. Now, the unauthorized immigrant population in the United States of America from 1990 to 2018, you're looking at that here, and you can see that right around 1995, it starts to get a little weird, and then by 2005, it's obvious that yeah. this is this is a staged event. And, and this one actually does. It only goes to th- 2018. That's six years ago. Yes, it's probably even higher now. That's correct. That is absolutely correct. This <clears throat> proves that this is a manufactured event. Yes. At no point in human history, anywhere, has this sort of mass migration taken place. And it certainly hasn't taken a well, cro- uh, place across thousands of miles and a couple of oceans. No, it happened once in the past. Where? Uh, the Sea Peoples in the Bronze Age when they... Uh, incorrect. Oh, oh yeah. Absolutely incorrect, and I'll tell you why. Uh, tell me why. Eventually, yes, the numbers would match. Uh-huh. But the Sea Peoples started migrating sometime around 6,000 B.C. Uh, okay. They continued to migrate, and the Phoenicians were Sea People. Yeah. They ended up in the Levant and then eventually up around Spain. Then you had the Hunaberg Celts up around the northern Austrian border that were trading with the Phoenicians. They were also part of the Sea Peoples. Hmm. But those migration levels took place over thousands of years Okay, to get to these kind of numbers here. Oh, yeah, you're right. So you it, are technically correct but until that, you but realize the numbers that the timeline wrong. is kind of like this. The numbers are wrong. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, uh, in 2005... So late 2005, early 2006, I was recovering from my TBI. And right around that time is when I literally, my mind like went back into focus and I woke up in the middle of the night and I started to write down a list of how I would take over the world. Oh, yeah. All right. Now I showed him the list. I'm going to go through Found- it real quick here, yep. but you will see. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on here. And my supporters that were on Sunday, I covered this with them. And I want to, I want to apologize to all of them. The computer took a shit. Um, I I rebooted and the the stream was lost. Murphy got us that day. Uh, I apologize. It is what it is. Hopefully it doesn't happen tonight. If the stream cuts off, you know what happened. The computer's bad. All right. So 10 ways or actually 10 steps in any particular order on how to control the world. Number one, you destroy the population, reduce it to manageable levels. This was covered in the Georgia Guidestones. Don't educate your young properly so they can, you know, they're dumb. And if you're dumb, you're easily fooled. Teach them about lube and butt sex. Yeah, we're, we're seeing that right now. Instill fear. If you are terrified or scared, you can be herded into a death trap. And by the time you realize it, 
you're surrounded on all three or maybe four sides and you're done. Next is destroy religion, which, you know, Steve pointed out started in the, in the 1930s. But I would say after the 1970s through the 1980s, it really picked up speed. And the reason they want to remove religion is they want to take any kind of morals or ethics out of the equation. Because those you used to get those in two places, at church or your religious institution and from your family. It's also a big part of foundational belief where you're from. Yes. How you how you think of your people and where you're from. That's right. And once you take out that uh, that mortar, you can break the rocks up a lot easier. Next, and we're seeing it right now, and we have covered it in the opening statement for the show. They weaponize mercy and compassion against us because all of these immigrants. The left is pushing the narrative like, well, you know, we have to be, we have to share the prosperity. We, listen, a boat only holds so many people before it swamps, all right? An animal can only survive so many parasites before it dies. These are facts. This is not conjecture. All right. <clears throat> yeah, a good example of that, by the way, is the whole uh, early 1980s. Some of you might not even have been alive for this. In the 80s, there was the whole feed the world. Oh, yeah. All of the artists got together and, and bleeding hard all over to save the African babies who are starving. And Bob Geldof put it all together. And that was that was the weaponization of compassion. That was the first. That was a dry run. That was the dry to run. See how people would react. Number six, control the media and information. Now, all of our mainstream media is owned by six corporations. Okay. Our... Information is being controlled by three companies, Microsoft, Apple, and Google. Number eight, corrupt the leaders. And this can be done with money, blackmail, extortion. If I recall, we've got Hunter Biden implicated direct money exchanges, and it, he may or may not have his father involved. We have to have a court case to determine that. There's the Heidi Fleiss scandal, the, the Madam of D.C. Yes. Uh, there's Epstein Island. That's there's that, that's the extortion Hunter's, piece. There's That's Hunter's money. Yeah. Basically, what it boils down to, I think we mentioned this on a show one night, is there are a dozen schools where anybody who gets elected to any kind of office at all has to come from one of those schools, and they've got something on every one of those people. You can't advance above janitor or receptionist in Washington, D.C., without some dirt on you somewhere. Yeah, well, that's where the blackmail and extortion exactly. comes in. Exactly. Now, if you are not willing to pay, play ball, uh, you will be A, pigeonholed, or killed. No. Uh, I'm just saying. Number eight, bribe the population. And we should all know about this trick because the Roman Empire did this towards the end when they built the Colosseums and they would give out free bread. They literally were robbing, were robbing and bribing their population. They're robbing their freedoms and keeping them quiet with entertainment and bread. <clears throat> wow. Number nine, weaponize the law mechanisms against our its own population. Every single dictator that has ever gotten to power has pulled this trick. And we're seeing the exact same thing happen here with our alphabet agencies and law enforcement agencies. Number 10, divide and conquer. Go. 10 steps. Almost every single one is in play right now. Like the divide and conquer, we're being divided via religion, gender, race, Sports ball team. Yeah, I mean, I think the Taylor Swift thing isn't manufactured. Oh no, it, it totally is. But I mean, that's what's happening here, and we're and it's such a big flow chart and such a big a big subject. We can only really talk about one or two of these at a time. I'm planning down the road to have a, a classic whiteboard moment where I cover all this. Probably have Steve in it, and uh, we'll make it a lot more condensed, it's like maybe 20, 30 minutes. And we'll get it uh, released. 
with all of the uh, links for all of the news articles and studies and statistics that prove that the list of 10 to control the world. What do you think is happening at the WEF and the EU? The EU, they started their, what, their own uh, euro, their own currency. They got all of the countries hooked into it. They're going after the food supply. We've had uh, a whole bunch of uh, food processing plants mysteriously burned down here in the States. Uh, we're selling a lot of our far farmland away to individuals who probably are not going to use it to do anything good with. This is a serious issue. No one's covering it effectively, in my opinion. You're getting snippets here and there. But uh, let's face it, our mainstream media is now state-sponsored propaganda, which is literally getting its orders from the global elites. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Support of Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat case box.